Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Monique Miner and I am a wax specialist. Today I wanna to talk to you guys about hair removal from home. There's so many people waxing from home right now due to the pandemic or financial difficulties, whatever your reason is, people are doing it. And I'm seeing so many videos of waxing incorrectly from home. So I wanna just show you guys some techniques that you can use at home so you can do it the correct way so you're not damaging your hair or your skin. Okay. This video is by Tress Wellness. You can actually buy this kit here online at Amazon and I'll make sure to put the link down below for you. Let's go ahead and get into this box. It comes with a few different waxes so I'm really excited to try those out, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, so we have here a lavender wax, and these are all hard wax beads. A tea tree, I'm excited to try that one. We have a, ooh, a lemon. What is this, peppermint and eucalyptus. We have after wax spray, calm your skin down, moisturizes and soothes skin. And we have our pre-wax to clean and moisturize your skin as well. I love that it says moisturize because you don't want to strip your skin of moisture. You get a little pack of small sticks and a pack of larger sticks. The small sticks normally use for the face. The larger sticks you want to use on your body. And then it comes with your own wax pot. You guys, this whole set is about let me see, like 50 something dollars on Amazon. It's a really good price. Also comes with this and I'll show you guys how to use that. Very good price on Amazon. Okay, you guys. So it also comes with these protectors here. And this is really good to keep your um, wax pot clean. Let me go ahead. Set that on there and then put the little pot over that. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this all the way up just to start milking. You guys can also mix the wax. You do have little small bags, so if you're gonna do a big area, you definitely want more wax. So we just put Lavender, let's do lavender lemon. Beautiful beads. you guys so this has finished melting down and I want to talk to you guys a bit about the temperature and how you could check the temperature without actually applying it to your skin you want the wax to hold on your stick if it's dripping like this the wax is too hot so you want to go ahead and turn it down and remember I turned this all the way up just to melt the wax so we're gonna go ahead We're at 123 right now. Let's see if we can get this to a perfect temperature. Because you want to be able to pick up your wax, have control over it. You see how the wax is not holding onto the stick at all? You don't want that. Do not apply this to your skin this way. All right, you guys, I think we have the wax at a great temperature now. Do you see how that's just staying on the stick? And when it does fall, it's very thick. It's not very runny. That's the consistency that you want. You want to be able to twirl this on your stick like this. 
Now, if you want to test this out on yourself before you go to wax like your lip or your Brazilian, you just wanna take a small amount and put it on the inside of your arm. Just like that. Now you wanna wait before you remove it. You wanna wait until the wax is dry. And I'm actually gonna show you guys another strip here just to show you how your what your strip should look like when you're doing your legs, your arms, and then we will get into doing a wax for you guys. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and just remove this one and we're gonna do it again, okay, you guys? All right, when you guys go in to scoop your wax, I wanna show you how to do it. I know that this may seem like not a big deal, but it really is. Um, it's gonna help you apply your wax if you have the right amount of wax on and you have control over your wax. So I do hold my stick this way and I go in and I scoop my wax out the amount that I need. And if I'm doing a larger area, of course, I'm going to scoop out more. Then you wanna twirl your stick. This is gonna help you have control over your wax so you're not spilling. We're gonna go ahead and show you on my arm. You wanna hold your stick straight up and then go down. Come back up to the top to grab that wax, down again. We're gonna now create a lip and this is gonna help you remove the wax. You don't wanna pick at the wax. You don't wanna use your stick to get the wax up because you can't break your hair or you can um, hurt your skin. So what I was just doing there, if there's any wax left over on the stick, we don't like to waste wax. We wanna go ahead and fill in the areas that don't, um, that are very thin, that don't have a lot of wax. If you don't do that, when you remove it, those areas sometimes will crack. So you wanna make sure you have enough wax. And this isn't the prettiest of <laughs> strips here, but this is how you want your strip to look. Again, apply this, apply the lip here, and we will go over that in more detail when I'm doing my legs for you. What I do not love to see is, again, don't use your stick to pop your wax up because if you have any hair here or if your skin is really sensitive, you can break your hair or you can harm your skin. You don't want to flick. You don't want to do this to flick it up because, again, it's going to do the same thing. If there's little hairs under there, it's going to be very uncomfortable and you can break the hair. So if you have a good lip, and this does take practice, but that's why I'm showing you. Have a good lip here, get a hold of that lip, and remove, okay? Now, if you are removing, you guys see I'm not, don't double dip. Even if you're doing it on yourself, I still do not double dip. Now, if you are doing like my arms are very fine hair, then you wanna do a nice relaxing pull to remove. That's gonna remove the fine hair. If you are doing more coarse hair, like in the Brazilian area or your legs, you wanna go ahead and do a faster remove, okay? So now let's get into the fun. Let's get into what you guys are here for. Let's get into some real waxing. All right, you guys, we are now to the fun part. We are gonna wax our legs now, and I am actually putting my leg up on a chair. Um, I know not everyone has a waxing table in their home, so for this video, for the purpose, we're gonna use a chair. I am gonna go ahead and start off with the pre-wax spray. This is coconut scented, and it's really, really nice because it's actually a cleanser and a moisturizer in one, so you only need this step in the beginning. Few sprays, smells so good, it smells like coconut. Mm, I know I said that already, but it smells really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and cleanse. And when I cleanse, I do like to cleanse upward because I like to kind of lift my hair up. Okay, and that's all you have to do for the first step. We're gonna go ahead and get into this wax. Okay, again, you are gonna have your wax stick straight up and down. You're just gonna go down your leg like that. You do not want the wax stick flat on your skin. 
Otherwise, you're going to waste a ton of wax. You want that wax to be, to kind of just fall right off of the stick. And then see how there's some lighter areas. I'm going to go ahead and go in with the extra wax and cover those areas. Because this is such a thin strip, I'm going to go ahead and remove it now. Remember, I created a lip like we talked about a little earlier in the video. Woo! Here we go with the legs. Wow. Look how smooth that came off. I don't know if you guys can see the hair. Beautiful, beautiful strip. This wax did not break at all. I have pretty fine hair, so I can do a thin strip like this, but I just have to make sure I remove it right away. Otherwise, if you leave it on too long, it'll dry too hard and it'll crack when you remove it. Very, very nice. Okay, we're gonna go ahead, do another strip here. And I'm just gonna work around my legs. Go ahead and fill in the very thin areas. You guys remember it's so important to create this lip. If you guys want another video on how to create your lip, how to practice doing it, let me know. It's so important so you don't break the skin. I mean, so you don't break the hair, excuse me. I also will try to create, if I am able to, push this down a little bit further where there's no hair to create my lip. It's not always possible, but that's why you just always have to be consistent when making sure you create your lip. Okay, let's go ahead and remove. You guys, I am impressed. As someone who normally only uses professional wax, this is my first time getting wax off of Amazon and let me tell you, this is good. I definitely approve. I definitely approve this company. Go ahead and check it. Again, you guys, my strips are very thin because my hair is very fine on my legs. If you have coarser hair, you want to do a thicker strip. And to do that, you just need to pick up more in your um, wax pot. Again, if you want to see more videos on scooping your wax from your wax pot, twirling your wax, making lips, let me know and we can definitely do a video focusing on that. You guys, my legs are so smooth. See how I have complete control over my wax? That's how you know it's at the perfect temperature. And right now I am using the lavender wax mixed with the lemon wax. Gorgeous. I like to start from my knee down to my ankle. It may take some time and practice to make that big of a strip. So you can also go ahead and just do it in small strips. You don't need to make that big of a strip in the beginning. I'm putting a lot of pressure when I go down my leg as well. Pressure will help the wax adhere to your hair. And let me tell you guys what I love about hard wax as well over soft wax. I started out in the industry using soft wax. Once I started using hard wax, I never went back. Hard wax does not really attach to your skin as long as you're doing it correctly. It forms around the hair that needs to be removed. Amazing. Lots of pressure going down. Go ahead and fill in the area, smooth out the lines if you need to. 
beautiful. Check your wax, make sure it's dry. It should be tacky when you remove it. It doesn't have to be completely dry. Again, you don't wanna break the wax when you're removing it. So a tacky feel is just fine. I'm gonna bend my leg backwards. Oops, got a little bit. Spilled a little bit doing that. I looked up at the camera. That is okay, we'll just keep on going. Of course, doing the back of your own legs is a little harder than doing the front. <laughs> Look at that. And of course, for the sake of this video and me doing this on myself, I am not wearing gloves. However, I am still not double dipping in my pot, even though it is my personal pot, because sometimes I may have a friend or family member over and they always want something waxed. If you are waxing someone else, please make sure you are wearing gloves protecting yourself. to get this back of the leg as best as I can. <laughs> now when I do this here you guys that's because I'm getting rid of string hard wax when you apply it and remove the stick you can have a few strings you don't want string all over the place so I like to remove it just like this until the string is off of my stick so you don't have a mess you clean up as you go Okay, let me let you guys see that, if you can. Very nice. If you guys have any wax left on you, let me see how you guys can see that. If you can see right here, I have a little wax left on me. Turn your wax to the shiny side and just go ahead and press on that and it'll just remove it. Again, clean up as you go. You don't wanna have a bunch of wax left over on your skin when you are all done and then you have to go back and remove all of it. Okay, so we have one more strip back here. And I think this is how we'll do it. Using a chair for this is really helpful actually. Might even be better than sitting on top of the um, the wax table doing it yourself. See how my stick is straight up? And then I'm going to kind of flatten it when I go to the end. Take the rest of the wax here and just kind of fill in. Check my wax and go ahead and remove my last strip. Woo! There you guys have it. I will wax my other leg, but we're gonna go ahead and go in with the after wax spray that also moisturizes and soothes your skin after. I'm actually gonna just spray this directly on my skin. You can put it on a towel if you want to, a paper towel. And I'm gonna take the paper towel and do this. Oh wow, look how that moisturizes your skin. You guys see that? It's not greasy. I'm going, I'm putting some on my feet. <laughs> Why not? Look how shiny that is. All right, let's go ahead and do the next leg.
All right, so again, keep your stick straight up and go down. I'm actually holding my skin taut here as well. Now, when you guys remove, you wanna make sure that you are removing and pulling the strip this way. Please do not pull the strip out this way or out this way. You wanna keep it towards your skin and remove it. Removing this way or this way can break the hair and irritate your skin. So let me show you how. Again, we're gonna go, it's just up, keeping it, keeping your hand and the strip near your skin still. Very, very important. Okay, you guys, now we gotta get the back of these legs. <laughs> A little harder, but let's do it. Now let me show you guys something that happened. Hopefully you can see it. Let me try to turn around to the back of my leg. Do you see how little wax was left to your whole strip? That is because right in this area, it's really, really thin, and I did not fill that in. I missed that. So I have this piece here. If that happens, what you can do is take this shiny side, apply it it's on top of that piece of wax, and then did you see how it lifted up? and just go ahead and remove it together still. Even as professionals, we can always make a little mistake. It's okay as long as you know how to fix it. All right, looks like one more little tiny strip here. Missed a few pieces of hair and we are done with our leg wax. All right, our pre-wax spray, oh, not pre-wax, excuse me. Our after-wax spray is next. You guys, this stuff is really nice. Very moisturizing. And there you have it. Look at those legs. All right, you guys, there you have it, a leg wax. We did half legs today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. One more tip before we go is to make sure that your body temperature is cool. Same with the room is cool. The wax will not adhere if you are too warm, sweaty, or if the room is too warm because obviously it makes your body warm. So make sure that you keep your room cool that you're waxing in and your body is cooled down. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please let me know if you have any questions. Again, this is Tress Wellness Wax that I use today, waxing kit. You guys can order this online at Amazon. I will add the link below. And stay tuned for more videos to come. I am very, very impressed with this wax, with it not being um, just a professional wax. The, it felt like a professional wax to me. I would definitely use this on clients as well. But I am so glad that they created something that you can bring in your home that is a professional wax. Just please make sure you are following my tips and tricks on waxing yourself so you are doing it correctly so you do not hurt yourself. Again, if you guys have any questions, comments, any other waxing videos that you guys would like to see, leave a comment down below. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Monique Minor Skin and Again, stay tuned for more waxing videos.